Chairman, everyone's been talking about a summer of change. We're here in the Director's Lounge at, at Easter Road. Uh, the timing's right to really address those changes uh, over, that have affected Scottish football over the past two months. Can we begin by just getting your verdict on those changes, please? Well, today uh, has been another day in which decisions have been made by Scottish football. Um, the clubs have spoken, uh, not just the 12 clubs in the SPL, but also the 30 clubs in the Scottish Football League. Uh, informed by the views of supporters and decisions have now been made in terms of uh, who plays where for a season uh, that's just about to start. Uh, so it's uh, timely uh, that these changes have been uh, in effect announced by uh, the organisations and it's now time to kind of move on and uh, concentrate on the football season that's ahead of us. You mentioned obviously some level, well total clarity right now uh, the immediate aftermath, lots of scaremongering uh, for the benefit of Hibs fans everywhere. What are the ramifications of those changes and how will it affect Hibs? Well, there will be significant changes. Uh, the clubs have made uh, the right decision for the, for the right reasons, uh, but these decisions uh, don't come without a cost. Um, the SPL now needs to work closely with all its commercial partners, broadcasters, sponsors and others. Uh, to try and preserve value going forward. So every club will be affected, uh, and, uh, and ours uh, just the same as everybody else's. Um, the precise level of those uh, uh, those changes, those shortfall in, in the income that we were expecting won't be known for uh, some weeks to come. Uh, but now's the time for every supporter of every club to rally behind their club and do whatever they can to help. All clubs are in the same position. We're in the same position as everybody else. We need uh, as many supporters as we can to now come towards us, get behind the get get behind the cause, get behind the team, get behind Pat Fenland, and trying to rebuild the squad uh, for next season. In many ways, we are in a worse position than other clubs because we have got a significant rebuilding job to do. Um, there have been significant. Uh, changes in the playing squad in terms of players leaving and we've started the process of bringing players in but that's now going to be hampered unless uh, we can get more season ticket income, we can get more certainty in terms of the money that's available uh, for the manager. So now's the time for every supporter to get behind their team and for the Bernian supporters to get behind the Bernian. You're talking about the core source of revenue there, especially in terms of player recruitment over the course of the summer transfer window, season tickets. Obviously a lot of supporters are wondering where we are. I know the response across the board in the SPL has been fairly slow over the course of the summer. Whereabouts are Hibs and where do we need to be? Well, we're kind of slightly fortunate um, in that we've uh, we sold a significant number of season tickets in advance of uh, the cup final. So we're probably sitting at about 7,000 season tickets at the moment. But we know uh, there are a significant number of season ticket holders from last season who have not renewed and from the season before that and the season before that. We've had two years of sporting disappointment, so we know it's very hard uh, for everybody to, to look at it in a positive light. Uh, but now is the time. You know, The manager is, is starting to, to build a squad. Um, if we had an additional 3,000 season ticket holders and I think that's the target we need to set ourselves, that's a challenge. Can we find 3,000 lap season ticket holders who will rally to the cause and help us have a positive start to the season? Well, see, we talked about clarity in terms of the SPL. We now know uh, all of the 12 clubs that will be involved in the tournament next season. There's been lots of kind of confusion as well about the various hats that you wear in your day-to-day -day duties as a, as a respected figure within Scottish football. You're obviously your primary role is this a Bernie chairman? Uh, a lot of people were slightly confused and perplexed and baffled, I guess, about certain um, accusations that perhaps were levelled at you for the benefit of, of Hibs fans and Hibernian TV viewers. What, what actually, I mean, how, how confusing is it, do you feel, or how can you clarify your positions to, to fans? Well, first and foremost, I'm the chairman of Hibernian Football Club. Uh, we've got a board of directors uh, who are charged with doing what's right for a Bernie Football Club, taking it forward. And, and as my job as chairman, I, I kind of lead the board. So whenever uh, I go along to SPL meetings, meetings of clubs, then I'm going along as the chairman of a Bernie Football Club and we will vote uh, the way that the club thinks is right. And in many, before many of the meetings that have been had, the board has met and uh, given its view. and. We've also tried to be straightforward and tell supporters what our views were. Sometimes they weren't uh, uh, 
you know, people questioned whether we'd actually follow through and vote the way we did, but on every occasion we have, uh, and, and expressed a view um, as one of the clubs within the SPL. I'm not on the board of the SPL. I stood down from the board uh, in 2011 um, after I was appointed second vice president of the Scottish Football Association. Um, and I was appointed to that position um, after uh, a vote amongst candidates. 60% of the Scottish football voted uh, for me and put their confidence in me uh, to act as one of the office bearers uh, to try and help shape the SFA uh, going forward. So yes, I'm involved. I'm on the board of the SFA. I'm the chairman of the professional game board of the Scottish Football Association. Uh, I've got a role to play uh, in terms of the SFA's consideration of matters, and it's absolutely right and important that uh, the SFA looks at all aspects of uh, things which are unfolding within football, but also takes a lead and tries to uh, give a strategy uh, and, and give leadership to Scottish football. So. I am involved in, in a lot of those uh, discussions and, and things at uh, at Hamden. I think it's great for the football club uh, that we have that uh, involvement and that engagement. You know, uh, 60 years or so or more, Harry Swan managed to do that for a Burning Football Club, be uh, both uh, chairman of the club and serve as an office bearer uh, in the SFA. And it's my privilege to do that and work with some good and talented people. Obviously, just looking at the, the wider picture as well, we mentioned earlier on the, the financial impact and the hit that will, will happen because of the changes that have occurred. We're obviously also in the midst of a global recession at the moment. Everyone's finding it very difficult. What's the way forward, do you feel, for Hibernian Football Club in this current climate? The landscape's changed massively. How can we adapt? Everybody knows it's tough economic uh, circumstances and not every supporter can do this year and next year what they were able to do last year and the year before. Uh, but it's important that uh, clubs have the support from the supporters. The decisions which have been taken, and these have been difficult and complex, uh, it's probably the most complex situation that Scottish football has faced in certainly the last uh, 10 or 20 years. Uh, it's important now that supporters... Uh, get behind the team, every team, uh, every club. Um, the decisions that have been made absolutely have been made uh, with the best interests of the supporters in mind. Um, and the only way we can go forward is go forward together. We have to work together. We have to shape the club going forward. Uh, if it means there's less income from central revenues, it means there's much more emphasis in terms of uh, what happens on a match day uh, gate revenues actually appealing to supporters and, 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 and getting people on board, people wanting to come to the stadium, want to be in, to be uh, uh, at the live event. And, and we know that, that, that television doesn't work unless there's a, an enthusiastic and passionate crowd inside the stadium, so we want to see Easter Road uh, uh, filled. I mean, we think back to the kind of Monday night against uh, Tom Fermlin, 15,281 supporters in, in, in the stadium. It was a great crowd, it was a great atmosphere. Uh, and the team played well. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to uh, re-engage and take the club forward as best we can. There might be a, a there will be a reduction in income. Uh, we can't avoid that. But it's now it's time to uh, to get back to basics to get people engaged with the football club for the football club to be trying to go forward uh, in the, in the right way. Uh, we want Pat Fenlon to be able to bring the players that he wants to Easter Road. That's very difficult at the moment. Uh, we had a budget, I mean, an element of that budget is now under threat because of the decisions we've all made for all the, all the right reasons, uh, backed by the views of, uh, of supporters for doing the right thing. Uh, so now we need to make good that shortfall. And if we can get you know, another 3,000 season ticket holders uh, able to commit, able to support the club, um, then we've got a chance going forward. And the club will be uh, trying to be open and flexible in the ways in which it can engage with supporters and take that uh, any assistance and any help that supporters are, are, are able to give in taking the club forward.
pulled together. I mean, there are, there are clubs that have had different views. Clubs have got different philosophies. They've got different ethos. They've got different business plans. But we're all in it together. And those clubs that have maybe had a different view from our own, we, we, we need to embrace them and go forward together. We need to try and mobilise the supporters all over Scotland uh, and, and, and re-engage with the game and actually embrace this opportunity. The new dawn is here. The new era for Scottish football is in, in, in ahead of us. The landscape has changed. Now is the time to march forward together and actually make it the best it can be and engage other stakeholders in the game and improve uh, things uh, to the best of our abilities and give us all new optimism and new hope as we march forward in this new year.